Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great Thursday. Our weekend is fast approaching, Memorial Day also around the corner. We've got some rain in the forecast, but I want to tell you about something that is getting a lot of astronomers as well as meteorologists and sky watchers excited about Saturday morning. It's a new meteor shower, meaning we have never seen this before, and I'll tell you exactly what we're going to expect. And So our new meteor shower is a tough word to spell. It's even more difficult to pronounce. It's the May... Camelopardalids, and that's the name of the me uh, meteor shower that comes from Camelopardalid, which is a constellation that's in the northern section of the sky. It looks like a giraffe. It's just south of the North Star. The Camelopardalids peaks Saturday morning, May 24th, so it's just a couple of days away at the time of this recording. And the reason we're going to see this meteor shower, it's from Comet 209P, also known as Comet Linear. Now this is a rather old debris trail that this comet has left behind back from the 1800s and so astronomers really aren't sure as to how active the comet was when uh, the comet passes through, uh, the earth passes through this debris trail. So there's a lot of uncertainty with this. One thing is for certain, as far as the moon it should be great viewing conditions. There's a waning crescent moon on the morning of the 24th, it's going to be about 18% full, and a waning crescent means it's going towards a new moon, which happens uh, in around May 28th. Uh, moonrise will be also at 325, so it should be dark sky conditions. Now, astronomers are saying this could be a big show, or it could be a dud. The predictions are about 100 to possibly as much as 200 meteors per hour, and the best time to look at this meteor shower on Saturday morning will be between midnight and 2 a.m. The only issue with this meteor shower is that there could be a lot of cloud cover around. According to the latest computer models, it is showing cloud cover could be a problem. Let me take you through the next 72 hours. We've had dry and quiet weather the last several days. That's about to change as the big ridge of high pressure begins to get flattened. We have a front that moves into the area. And notice our Saturday midnight to 2 o'clock in the morning time frame. It actually shows some rain over the northwest Arkansas area. Well, we'll see if that pans out. Obviously, computer models can change. But it does appear that quite a bit of cloud cover will be around the area. Rain chances improve on Friday, Saturday as well. Chance of isolated storms. And then our rain chances will continue to increase as a big low pressure system off to our west will begin to push into the area. So that's going to be a slow moving low pressure system that eventually moves eastward and by Memorial Day we're going to see isolated showers and storms that pops up all around. So again the big story is the meteor shower. It's a brand new one, the May Camelopardalids. And so we'll see if this is a big event. Uh, 200 meteors per hour is pretty impressive so that, that does happen on early Saturday morning it will be quite the show. But again, astronomers have a lot of uncertainty as to how active that comet was back in the 1800s, how much debris it left behind. There's really no way to tell until that meteor shower is underway. But that's the latest. I wanted to give you the information about that. Keep it here with your weather authority, and we'll give you the latest on all weather events, either on Earth or up in the sky.